High upon a jagged, wind-blown crest sit the crumbling ruins of an ancient castle. Aside from a single lamp burning in the tower, it seems dead, lifeless. As the sun casts its last rays upon the Borgo Pass, James Dork, a young salesman from Milwaukee, traveling the treacherous mountain roads by stagecoach, is approaching a rendezvous with the unknown. Okay, whoa down there, boys. Come on. Oh, Mac, this is the end of the line. What do you mean this is the end of the line? We're miles from nowhere. I know. It's a full moon and it's getting dark out tonight, and you're afraid we're going to be eaten by vampires, right? Hell no, I'm just afraid of the dark. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do now? Uh, where am I, anyway? Well, you going to Castle Frankenstein? Okay, just head down the road, seven or eight miles, till you get to the abandoned Winchell Donuts there. Hang a left, climb the jagged, wind-blown peak, and you can't miss it. The name's on the mailbox. Okay, well, get my luggage down, will you? Yeah, here you go. <clears throat> uh, don't I get a tip? A tip? Are you kidding me? Uh, forget it, pal. Well, same to you, you dirt... You... Let me tell you one thing, you dirty double no good son of a... After a long and arduous journey, our hero ascends the peaks and reaches the broken battlements of Castle Frankenstein. With reluctance and trepidation, he lifts the massive iron door knocker. Good evening. May I see your invitation, please? Well, I don't have an invitation exactly, but uh, Dr. Frankenstein is expecting me. Oh, well then, please step inside and let me take your hat and coat. You see, the doctor is having a small party tonight for some old friends of his, and I thought you were one of the guests. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no, actually, uh, the name's Jim Dork, uh, Apex Industries. Uh, Dr. Frankenstein and I have some business propositions to discuss. I I'll tell him you're here. The, the party is just warming up. Go ahead and mingle. The, the drinks are over there. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Good evening, sir. Do you want a drink? Uh, yes, please. I'll have a Shirley Temple. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh hey, bartender. Uh, that guy down at the end of the bar looks kind of familiar. Who is that, anyway? Oh, that's Mr. Wolfman. The Wolfman? Wow! I've seen all his pictures. He's great. Yeah, him and the doc have been pals a long time. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Wolfman. Uh, <coughs> Jim Dork, Apex Industries. Uh, I'd just like to tell you how much I've enjoyed your pictures over the years. I think you're one of the best, really. He's letting you know how much he appreciates that. Oh, I see. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, uh, what's, what's that he's doing? He wants to shake hands, grab his paw. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, hi there, pal. Hi there. Good boy. Hi there. How you doing? He likes you. Here, give him some of these pretzels. Here you go, boy. Good boy. Yeah, you like those, don't you? Good boy. Uh, down, boy. Everybody likes a wolf, man. Wouldn't hurt a fly. Always lets you know when he wants out. Okay, now. Uh, fun's fun. Down, boy. Down. Back. Back. Oh, Mr. Dork, I'm so glad to see you. I hope you had a pleasant trip. It was pretty rough one, actually. I'm sorry to hear that. I see you've met Wolfie. Poor chap. He's been hitting the wolf bane pretty hard the last few years. He actually is screaming the time. I see your point. Uh, he's urinating on my leg. Wolfie, control yourself. I'm terribly sorry. Come with me to the kitchen, and we'll take care of everything. Excuse me, Doctor. The Invisible Man is looking for you. Tell him I can't see him. The kitchen is right through here, Mr. Dork. Ah, this is my niece, Lola. Lola, this is Jim Dork. Jim's the young salesman from Milwaukee. Hmm, pleased to meet you, Mr. Dork. The pleasure's all mine. Lola's a fine girl, and she helps me in the lavatory. Now I leave you in her capable hands and get those pants cleaned up. When you're ready, 
I'll be my study and we'll talk business. You mean my big boy with his pants? <laughs> no, actually, it was the wolf man. Uh, it must be a full moon out. Mm, that's terrible. <laughs> we better get them off right now. Mm, here, let me help you. Sure. Mm, let's get these off, too. Oh, yes, and these, too. You don't have any clean clothes, do you? Uh, actually, uh, I left my bags on the road about uh, four miles from here. Uh, it was uh, 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 a long walk. Uh, I, uh, I uh, couldn't... Uh, 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 give me your shirt, too. Come to think of it, I've got some things to wash of my own. Do you mind if I take my clothes off, too? Oh, why, no. Go right ahead. Doctor! Doctor Frankenstein! <laughs> Dracula, it's good to see you after all these years. I heard you moved to Hollywood. How long have you been in town? I just flew in, and I boy, are my arms tired. You must be hungry. Igor, get the Count something to eat. No, thank you. I had a bite before I left. Would you like something to drink? Why, yes, I would. Thank you. Ow, 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 ow. My neck, my neck. Ow, get your teeth out of my neck. Ow, 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 ow. Frankenstein, I've always said, you know how to throw a party. What's that? Sounds like it came from the tower. Oh, no. It's my monster. He's escaped. Down in the village below, Terror reigns supreme as the villagers pack their meager belongings and run for safety from a creature without mercy. Run! Pack your things! People are dropping like flies! Hans, what is the matter? Why is everyone running away? It's the movie maker! He's back! And he's heading this way! Oh no, he's seen us! Escape if you can! I can't. I feel sleepy. I can't move. I know how you feel. Hey, it's a wonderful night, though. Hey, did you hear the one about the blind man? He can't see, and I can't see him either. Oh, no, that's not even funny. No, seriously, isn't this a nice night? Well, it's not really nice. It's okay, I mean. But what about tomorrow morning? That's going to be a good day. But, uh, well, am I right or not? Hello? Is there anyone there? Please listen to me. Meanwhile, at the castle, Dr. Frankenstein organizes a search party to find the creature. How? You take your team and search the marsh. The hunchback will take the road, and my group will search the old abandoned mill. Let me go find my niece and Mr. Dork, and we'll be on our way. Dr. Frankenstein! This is no time for romance, kids. We've got an emergency on our hands. What's up, Doc? As you probably know, I built a monster years ago, but I could not perfect his powers of speech. And not being able to make himself understand, he was destroyed by the stupid villagers. But that didn't stop me. I built a new creature. I tried to make it perfect in every way, but I failed. And now this creature is out roaming the countryside, leaving misery and boredom in its wake. I haven't known you long, son, but... Would you help me find him? Sure, Doc, I'll help. Mm, please don't let anything happen to him, Uncle. We're in love. We want to get married. Marriage is a serious thing, dear. Are you sure you're in love? Sure, Uncle. Just listen. If I love you like you love me And I love birds like you love bees then I'm in love with you. All right, I believe you. But let's get after the monster. As Dr. Frankenstein's search party sets out from the castle, the villagers have the creature holed up in the old windmill. All right, everybody, plug your ears. I repeat, don't listen. If you begin to feel listless, report to the health authorities. You heard the man, son. Cover your ears. But I think he's kind of funny, Dad. Shut up and do what you're told, you simpleton. Daddy Pete, don't listen. For the sake of all that's holy, don't listen. Excuse me, officer. Maybe I can help. I'm its master. Perhaps I can reason with it. 
Ah, uh, there's no reasoning with that, Doctor. It's a mindless idiot, I tell you. I created it. I can talk to it. Movie! Movie maker! Are you there? Oh, hi, Doc. Anyway, hey, look, I want to tell you something. I've got to speak with you. Well, well, I... These people, they're going to hurt you. But... I... But of course I... I no, movie. Movie. I movie. 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 I'm afraid you're right, officer. We'll have to kill it. Wait, doctor. I'll bet if I went up there, I could bring it down alive. Oh, no, Jim. I couldn't let you. back in a flash. Oh, he's so brave. Look, somebody's climbing the tower. Be careful, Jim. Who's at the top? Look, it's a fight. One of them's going to throw the other one over the edge. Whoa, which one's which? Jim! I'm up here, honey. The monster's dead. Having vanquished the monster, Jim and Lola set a date to be married, and life is once again peaceful at Castle Frankenstein. Life seems peaceful once again at Castle Frankenstein, thanks to you, James. Shucks, it was nothing, Doc. I couldn't have done it without you, Lola. Oh, James. Lola. James. Lola.